right, we're on our Lord. Paragimel Mishnah Vav. Sixth Mishnah in the third chapter of Masachet Ahalot. So in order to understand, in order to understand this Mishnah, we have to go jump ahead and learn most of another Mishnah of Ahalot Zayin Gimel. Okay, and I want to point out, so I have this unbelievable sefer. I've been using it by Posen, but I have found in Meisharim once this other sefer called Marot Chaim Tzirim Ubi Urim on Masachet Alur. It has a lot of on, on Tumantara, and he has awesome pictures. And, and I don't use pictures unless I have permission. So this book is written by a man named Rabbi Shai Steinberg, and in the front of the book, there's actually a, there's this, his phone number appears, and he gave me permission to, uh, to use his pictures. So hopefully we'll use Rabbi Steinberg's pictures, and if the, it'll make it a lot clearer than the crazy, uh, than the stuff that I've been using until now. So I want to thank him publicly. And if you want to learn Alot, go out and buy Marot HaChaim. You can order it on Mesechet Alot. And I think there are a bunch of other Mesechtot as well. Okay, so the Mishnah says the following. Hameg Babai, Obo Ptachin Harbei. If a person dies in a house and has a lot of Ptachim, a lot of uh, doors, although a lot of openings, Kulam Tameim. So there's a Dindu Rabbanan that they're all Tamei. Not only is it Tamei, also Kol HaKelim HaMunachim. All of the kelim that are lying under the mashkof, under the lintel of that doorway, b'chalal haptachim mi b'chutz, even on the the outside, kulam tmeiim, they're all tamei, afal pisha haptachim neulim. Okay, even though they're locked. So we'll look at the picture, right? I have this house, and inside the house, it's not a great picture. I'll take better pictures later on. But I, there's a dead person in this house. This is a, an adjacent house. So that the door is locked, the windows are locked. Okay, it's all locked. You have these kelim, you have this milk jug or this, you know, whatever, this, uh, this jug under the lintel, under the doorway. All of them, every single one of them is tamay. Okay, because you don't know. The Rabbanan made gzera. Let's see the Bartunura back here. The Gazu Rabbanan, Chachamim Tuma ala makom, Shehu derech yitziyat Tuma. The Chachamim, they decreed Tuma on the place that's derech yitziyat Tuma. That is the way that the Tuma goes out. Why? Because the, the mate is going to go out that way. The mate is going to go out this door or this, when it can carry him out the window or take him out this window. And therefore, since the mate is going to go out that way, therefore, this doorway, even though it's locked now, is Mechabel Tuma and anything in here is Mechabel Tuma. Misha adds one more point. Not only is the door, but since you don't know which one you're going to take the mate out of, okay, any, this is four Trachim, we're going to see the size, any one of these, since we don't know which one, all of them, everything in any one of them is Mechabel Tuma. Okay? Kulam Tumeim. But the Mishnah says, Chashav lo tzio be'echad me'em, if you intended, you had the machshava, you had the intent of taking out with one of, through one of those doors, o be'chalon nechshu arba al arba tzvachim, or through a window that's three by, th- that's four by four tzvachim, then he tzil al kol haptachim. Then all the others are okay. So I mean, if you say, if you, have, if you know, you're going to take him out this door, then these, these kelim are okay. All these kelim are fine. Other, otherwise, you're in big trouble. So now we go back to our Mishnah. Now we know that. We go back to our Mishnah. The Mishnah says, Kezayit min What if you only have a kezayit from the mate? Then pitcho batefach. Then the size of an opening, any opening that's a tefach or more, any kelim in that opening, as long as you didn't decide which one you're going to go in, it, you're, going to, you're going to take the mate out, is any kelim are tamei. The hamate. Okay, but if you have an entire mate, pitcho be'arba'at tfachim, the petach, the opening is for tfachim, lahatzil tuma al haptachim, in order to save tuma on the ptachim. Meaning, if you have a kezayit made in the house, right, and you say, okay, I'm going to take it out of, I'm going to take it out of this one, you have that in mind, you have it in mind before, I guess, like, I don't know when, whatever, before the mate is in the house, all these things, you're matzil, all the other ones. And if it's a maid itself, then you have to have it only talking about a, a, a petach, an opening of four tfachim. Anything less than four tfachim is not mekabel tuma. That's what the Mishnah, that's what the Mishnah means. In order to take it out, lahatzil hatuma al ptachim, says the Bar Tunura. Im yesh gizayim in a If you have a gizayit in the house of dead person, v'chashav lo tiyo b'chalom. And you intended, you thought, you intended to take it out of a window. Shiyesh bo potech tefach, that has an opening, a tefach on a tefach, one by one. Matzil al kol haptachim anuulim, that saves all the other openings. Why? Kevan shiyodeh ha-makom, shesofa shel tumah, that's it, me derech sham, because you know the end, the end, in the end, where you're going to remove the tumah. Ve'im humet shalem, and if it's a whole dead person, 
Mechashav lo tzidir chalon sheish bo arba aden. The window has four by four. That also matzil et kol haptuchim haneulim. That saves all the other openings. Why? Because shiur abat tvachim shiaru chachamim. Because four tvachim is enough. One, two, three, four. It's enough to take out the mit in order to save all the other. And you would do this obviously if you have like a storehouse or a doorway, and you don't want all all of the everything in the other room or the other connecting thing to be tame. Aval tuma. But in order to transfer tuma from one place to another, even even though you're not going, if it's an opening, bepoteach tefach. That's an opening of a tefach. Says about tenura, afilu mit shalem tuma yotzei derech chalon calls man shuvaduach. Even if you have a whole dead person, tuma passes through a, through the window if it's open. Umetame kelim shebebayit shebitzido im yesh bechalon poteach tefach. If it's metame kelim, let's go back to the picture from Rav Shem Rav. Rav Steinberg, okay, look at this, you have, so you have a dead person in the house, if this window is open, this kli, if this window even a tefach, this kli is tameh, because a potech tefach is motzi tuma, transfers the tuma from one place, from one place to the, to the other. Gadomi gezayit, what if it's bigger than a gezayit, then it's kameh. Then one, uh, a tefach and a tefach is not enough, it has to be four tefachim, anything more than a gezayit. Rabbi Yossi Omer, Rabbi Yossi says, Hashidra v'hagugolet kameh. The spine or the skull are also like the but they're bigger than a kezayit anyway. So the Tosli Yandav says, no, the, even if they don't have a kezayit, so I guess part of the spine or part of the skull, not entirely sure, that must be the interpretation. Nonetheless, we'll stop here. Uh, 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 we'll stop here and dedicate our learning. So remember, you're my father, Harav Simcha ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.